My Vanilla Lattes and welcome back to our ASMR channel. I'm feeling very relaxed. And happy to be spending some time with you. If this is your first time stopping by, my name is Lauren Latte. It's so very nice to meet you. Please make yourself at home and be sure to hit that subscribe button. I hope everybody's happy and healthy. Today's Monday. Today's Monday. Monday and I have a wonderful video for you as per usual this is a requested one okay how I make my lattes at home I love talking about coffee especially on Monday and I got all dressed up y'all I like it when my makeup is super fresh like right now I get dressed I shower I moisturize my entire body and especially my face. And then I do my makeup, my jewelry, my hair, my top, and then I immediately film because I want everything to be super fresh, like right. I'm gonna show you how I prepared my latte and I have it right here. I'm using my Hello Kitty tumbler today. <laughs> I bought this last year. And just in case you want to know where I got it, I'm going to list Viernes Creations in the description box. This is not sponsored. I'm a customer. Okay. I paid $30 for this lovely, handmade, gorgeous, skinny tumbler. Do you see how it has the pink overflow with the little butterflies on it? We got little iridescent metallic pink bows. We got Hello Kitty holding her little bear wearing her pink dress. But the bottom has all this iridescent glitter on it. And my name is on the back. If you're new here, my nickname is Lori. But my name is Laura. At this point in time, I've probably ordered seven tumblers from Birna. Okay, she makes the most beautiful tumblers. Not only that, it keeps my latte cold for hours or hot for hours. I'm gonna show you another tumbler she made for me. This is my newest tumbler. This is the tumbler to end all tumblers. I asked her to make me a McDonald's tumbler and she said yes. It's Ronald McDonald. Look at the bottom has the gold glitter because their colors are yellow and red. Look at the red glitter all over the place, the golden arches. We got a French fry. We got a hamburger, and this is my Lori Latte tumbler. And this one has the charmed lid. Do you see how it has a red M&M? There's the little latte. There's a candy right there, a lollipop. I'm gonna list Verna's creations in the description box just in case you want to go check out her stuff. Okay. How I make my latte at home is very easy. I start off with whole milk. Sometimes I do half whole, half oat. I like oat milk and whole milk. You can use any milk, soy, almond, oat. Okay. You can use water if you want, but you can't make a latte out of water. I drink iced lattes and hot lattes, but for the videos, y'all, nine out of 10 times, I make an iced latte. Let me take a sip because I haven't had my coffee yet. I 
I used a new creamer today, which I'm going to show you right now. I'm not an authority on making lattes. I'm an authority on making lattes for me. Okay. I want it to taste a particular way. I am a snob when it comes to coffee. Okay. I'm not an expert. I'm just a snob. Because if it doesn't taste just right, I will not drink it. Mmm. Started with whole milk. That's the first thing I pour into that tumbler. I use Javi, y'all. If you did not know, this is a product. It's a coffee, microdose coffee concentrate. Okay. It's called Javi. This is not sponsored. I paid for my stuff. Years and years ago, they sent me a couple of bottles, but then they don't contact me anymore. So I buy Javi when it's on sale. Okay. Because this is what I use exclusively to prepare my lattes at home for the videos. For the videos. I love this stuff from the moment that I tried it. Okay. My coffee tastes delicious. Okay, I put two teaspoons of this because I make a 20 ounce latte. Okay, if you're making a 12 ounce, maybe you can get away with one teaspoon. Depends how strong you like it. This is in the flavor mocha. They sell this for $25 a bottle. They say you get 30 coffees out of this bottle. That's if you're going to use one ounce at a time. Okay, I want to say I get about 20 coffees because I make the large latte. I absolutely love Joppy. Okay, this year I actually didn't buy it for the longest time. Okay, because it's a little pricey and because I'm on a budget, y'all. But they had a Labor Day sale, 56% off. So I paid for two bottles and I got the third one for free, free shipping, and they gave me three free gifts. So coming up Black Friday, I'm pretty sure they're going to have some sales. They might even have sales right now. Okay, I'm going to put the link to Javi. I don't have a code that I know of. I don't think I have a discount code. I used to have a 10% off code. This is Mocha. I did half Mocha. And I did half original. My advice to you is this. Okay. Get one original and one of their flavored. Their flavored coffees are outstanding. I got the white chocolate mocha. It's so good. I got the regular mocha. It makes your coffee. You're drinking a mocha latte without the actual coffee in it. I have digestive problems. I can't eat chocolate, but this makes my coffee taste like chocolate. Okay, and it doesn't upset my stomach because they're sugar-free. Okay, they're GMO-free. They use Arabica beans. Okay, these products from Javi are very well made. I'm a person with digestive problems, and I never have an issue with this coffee ever. Okay. But my advice is get the original and mix it with one of their flavored ones. Okay. I have their brownie batter. I have their white chocolate mocha, and I have the mocha. So I do one teaspoon of this. If you only use this, it's going to be a little bit rich. I think this and this give you the perfect balance. Okay, and also this is going to give you a little bit more of a coffee flavor. If you only use the sweetened ones, excuse me, 
There's no sugar in this product, okay? If you only use the flavored ones, it might not be as robust in the coffee flavor. Okay, so my advice is get an original and get a flavored one. Now, one thing I do have to tell you, which is very, very important. If you buy Javi Coffee, they automatically put you on a subscription. Automatically. Okay. Automatically puts you on a subscription. So that means every month they're going to ship you out more coffee. Okay. I don't want a subscription. If you like Javi and you want the subscription, keep it. This is what I do. I place my order. It takes about a week and a half to get it. As soon as I get my order, I cancel the subscription. All you do is you Google it. How do I cancel my Javi subscription? And it, it tells you what to do. Cancel it immediately. And then they're not going to do the auto coffee thing. Okay. Because they're automatically going to set you up for the automatic monthly delivery of the coffee. And they're going to bill you for it, obviously. So if you do not want the subscription... Or as soon as you place your order and the order's confirmed, cancel. I like to wait until I get my coffee. Don't forget. Because if you forget, they're going to ship you your coffee and you're going to get billed for it. Okay. As soon as you get your coffee, go up in there and cancel your subscription. This is one of the best lattes I've prepared. I fill this about up to there with the milk because I got to leave room for the Javi and for my flavored creamers. Okay, so up to there with milk. I put two teaspoons of Javi, one of the original, one of the mocha. Okay. I stir it around. I like my lattes to be very sweet. So what I do next, I buy simple syrup. This is liquid sugar. Okay, it dissolves so much easier in the cold milk. And I just eyeball it, y'all. I just eyeball it. I probably put a tablespoon, at least a tablespoon of this. They sell this at the grocery store. Okay. In the area where they have like the margarita mixes and the daiquiri mixes is where you're going to find the simple syrup. Next, I always like to incorporate vanilla syrup in my coffee. Regardless of if I'm using brown batter, regardless if I'm using white chocolate mocha or mocha, I still want that vanilla element. So, this is Monine. Okay. And this is a French vanilla premium gourmet syrup. If you like vanilla flavored coffee, totally recommend this one. But you want to look for it at TJ Maxx. If you buy it on Amazon, it's eighteen bucks. That too. Now this is a this is a big bottle, and you this is a thick, delicious. French vanilla flavored gourmet syrup. It's worth every penny, but I ain't going to pay $18. My sister-in-law got it at TJ Maxx for $7.99. I won't try another vanilla flavored syrup. I won't try another one. When I tell you it's gourmet, take me for my word. 
it has the most pleasant, wonderful vanilla flavor. Okay. Okay, this is not a skinny syrup, y'all. It's 100% packed with sugar. Okay. I don't know if Monin makes sugar-free products. Okay, but this is the real McCoy. So every time I make my latte, I put about a tablespoon of this in my coffee as well. And as a matter of fact, I need to get me another backup one. This will last me a while, y'all. Okay, it'll last me a while. None of the products that I'm using are sugar-free. You can make a skinny latte, okay? You can find a huge assortment of skinny flavored syrups at TJ Maxx for $5.99 and $6.99. That doesn't work for me. First of all, I can't stand the flavor of the artificial sweetener. And when I say I can't stand it, take me for my word. I can't tolerate that artificial flavor. It tastes so terrible in my mouth. Secondly, I have digestive problems. See, when you put an artificial sweetener in your stomach, your digestive system don't know what to do with it. And so I end up getting an upset stomach. That's me. Lots and lots of people do skinny lattes, and you can too. So instead of the Monin, you're going to use your favorite skinny flavored syrup. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> The last thing that I used that I poured into my coffee, I'm trying a brand new flavored coffee creamer by Chobani. I bought this this morning. I purchased this this morning. Okay, this is Chobani. It was five bucks. Okay, it ain't cheap. It's even more expensive than Starbucks. Okay. This is Chobani. Simple and delicious. Good for great mornings. Packaged sustainably. It says to shake well. I didn't have any expectations on it. I was pretty sure it was going to be pretty decent. Okay. But I like to roll the dice sometimes because, you know, I love coffee and I love my lattes. Chobani coffee creamer, and this is in the flavor cookie dough. This tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough, and that's what my coffee tastes like today, and I love it. It has such a wonderful flavor. It's not too sweet, so if you don't like your coffee super sweet, what you're going to do is you're going to put the milk, you're going to put the javi, and then you're going to put this, and you're going to stop. Okay, you're not going to do the monine, and you're not going to do the simple syrup, and you're going to have the most delightful, delightfully flavored latte with out all the extra sugar and all the extra sweeteners. This is delicious. This, this is delicious. I'm going to buy it again. Five bucks. Five bucks, Chobani. But I'm still saving a crap load of money by making my latte at home. Because McDonald's, which I swear by and love, the way I order it with tax is now $4.50 because they no longer have the $1.50 off coupon. Okay. See, I'm making this at home and it ain't coming out to that price. Nowhere near that. Nowhere near that. I 
I ain't mad at you, Giovanni. This actually tastes so yummy. It's creamy, it's smooth, but it actually has a chocolate chip dough flavor. And that's how my coffee tastes today. If you like your coffee sweet like I do, you're going to follow the rules the way I set them. Okay, you're going to make it just the way I told you. I don't have measurements. What you do is you just start off with a little bit, stir it around and taste it. If it doesn't have enough coffee, if it doesn't have enough sweetener, you add a tiny bit more and voila. And the last thing I do is I add lots of ice. Okay, I like my coffee very cold. I'm just using the conventional big squares of ice, okay, because that's what, I don't have an ice machine. I don't have an ice machine at all. And my coffee, I got to tell you, I got to tell you, it's so delicious. Mm. This one tastes like chocolate chip cookie dough. But you have to realize all of these flavors are mixing together to make the perfect flavored latte for me. It's not just the Chobani, but the Chobani is the one ingredient that I changed. And it tastes out. Mmm. It tastes outstanding. Now, my strong advice to you is get you a skinny tumbler because this keeps your coffee ice cold for hours. I do not like when my coffee starts to melt down. I hate that. That's why I'm a snob. When the ice starts to melt and then it dilutes my latte, I hate it. Hate is a strong word. I hate that. Your ice hang on a mountain here. It's going to stay cold. It stays cold for hours. Okay. So that's it, y'all. I was happy to film this for you. Tell me later on, after you prepare your own latte at home, please tell me how it came out and if you liked it. Okay. You don't have to use Javi. There's so many ways to make a latte, but this is how I make mine. You can use instant coffee. Okay. You can use, you can make a pot of coffee and put it in the fridge and let it get cold. And that's a lie. I just lied to you. I, I told you a lie. You can make an iced coffee that way, but you can't make an iced latte like that. To make an iced latte, you need either espresso or you need the jobby, or you need a strong coffee. If you have a mocha pot, make some coffee in the mocha pot that's strong like an espresso. Because you're making a latte out of milk, you need the stronger coffee. If not, it's not going to taste right, okay?